What's up, YouTube family? Yeah, I'm making another video. Um, this video is about an item I bought on uh, eBay. I bought this. I bought a NVR for a camera system at my parents' house. And the camera system I bought is Amcrest. I'll show you the NVR I bought. Yeah, so I bought the Amcrest 6 megapixel network recordable MV 2116, 16 channel. So I bought it off of eBay, which I sometimes I buy stuff off of eBay, but majority of times I stick to Amazon. But me being cheap this time, I went with eBay. And yes, you get, you pay for what you get. Now the, the the seller said it was brand new, and so it's been about two three weeks, maybe not even two three weeks since I got it. And when I first got it, I didn't have a drive for it, so I had to order a drive to put inside of it. So when I ordered the drive, well before I ordered the drive, I tried to you know test. Um, I tested uh, with an older drive, you know, a, a drive I already had, a 2.5, uh, one terabyte drive in the device. But for some reason, the device would not read it. It said no drive available or no drive. So I went on and bought a uh, 3.5 drive, which fits in the case perfectly. And I hooked it up, powered up the NVR, the Amcrest NVR. And it still gave me the no drive error. Now, I will say this. This one DVR is no reflection on Amcrest. They make very good product. I've used them on several occasions on professional jobs. Uh, you know, with customers that ask me to install cameras for them. This is the first time me using them for, you know, my parents' house as a, you know, as personal. And I've never had any issues with Amcrest. So this is not a reflection on the company direct because I didn't buy this directly from Amcrest. I bought this from an eBay customer. Uh, well, eBay seller. I am going to, con tonight I'm going to contact this seller and I'm going to package it up and tell them, hey, this did not work like you said it did. They put on a description that this was brand new, never taken out the box. But for it to be never taken out the box and never used, why is the device not powering up the uh, hard drive? And then the hard, this is the funny thing, you all. The hard drive light is coming on the box saying like it's a hard drive present. So something is not right with this whole NVR. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera around and show you how I tested to see if it was the drive I bought or if it was the NVR because I have a, um, I have a, a test NVR. The only reason why I didn't install it at my parents' house is because I wanted a, a, a NVR with, that could receive more cameras. The, the NVR I'm testing it with, I only can take four cameras and I'll show you how you can tell it only has four PoE connections on the back of it it is a, a generic brand I bought it from a company called computer network uh, I think associates or something like that I'll put their their link below the in the description below uh, they make good product I use them sometimes sometimes I don't use them I, they, NVRs is not bad. I just don't like the web interface. It's Linux based, so it's very basic, very generic. I like Amcrest. It's very user friendly. It's not hard to set up. And like I said, Amcrest, I cannot not say that this is their fault. I would say if it was their fault if I had bought it directly from them, but I didn't buy it directly from them. I bought it off of eBay. And I feel like I've been burnt. So, I'm going to show y'all, y'all make y'all opinion, uh, what you think. All right, YouTube, this is both NVRs. So, I'm going to show you. 
You see, this is a Seagate. Well, let me try to turn around so you can see this better. It's a Seagate ES or yeah, ES.2 SED. It's a three terabyte, 3.5 hard drive. And you can see that little Amcrest logo on there. I have it disconnected right now. I don't have it connected, but you can see that here go the power cable, here go the data cable, it's hooked up. And I'm gonna show you. So you see it's, I got the pins and everything. This That's where it's supposed to be connected at. So I'm gonna reconnect the connector back in the pin, pin set. All right, and you see this is this NVR comes with no PoE connections. So I'm gonna plug it up. You see it's a red light on there. I don't I didn't look in, in any instructions to see if that red light is an indicator or not. But so you see it's powering up. I have this hooked up to my home uh, living room screen. But as you can see, if I go to network, like I guess it's checking stuff to see if the network and stuff is there. But you're gonna see the H HDD for hard drive lights. See, look at it, it popped on. And so if you look up at the screen, they go to Amcrest logo. So watch this. Hold on. I got to pull out this uh, the uh, mouse to log in. So, but yeah, y'all see all three lights. They on, lit up. Now, this is not hooked up to no network. So, I'm going to log in real quick. I don't care if y'all well let me I don't want y'all to see my password. Give me a few seconds. Alright, there we go. I got my uh what's the name again? Password again. But look, so I'ma click systems. See everything I already set majority of everything up, and we're gonna go to storage. And then if you click on HDD Manager, it should show you a hard drive, but there's no hard drive there, and you see in the left hand corner up there, no disk. So I'm gonna show y'all something real crazy. Watch this. So you see that one? All right, you see this is the no name, the NVR. It don't really have a name. See, let me flip it around real quick. This NVR has pretty much no name. It just say net video recorder. It's got a model number and stuff, password. I really don't use this one no more. It worked it good, still works. But I just didn't, don't use it as, as I told you. I can only hook up four cameras to it. So you see one, two, three, four. But, so I'm gonna power it up real quick. Now you see, that go to, here go the same prongs right there as is right here, right? Same power connection, all that. So I don't need the data connection over here. I just need this power to see if this hard drive is working. So let me, I'm a, we're going to just jump it off. Let's unplug this. Turn this over so we can get a little close here. Turn the cable a little bit. Oh, I'm putting it in the wrong way. That's okay. I got it right now. 
All right, so let me get the power cable down here. But well, this NVR stuff here, here go this NVR power cable. So watch this, y'all. Alright, so you see the you see the uh power but the power lights for this one. It's powering it up. You know what I'm saying? And if you can hear that, you can hear that drive is kicking on. So watch this. We're gonna come out of this real quick. We're gonna cancel. Cause it's gonna take time for it to see it. I might have to restart it, so yeah, it ain't still ain't seeing it yet. Cause it's probably shot like, what did you? You just carried me in. So what I'm gonna do real quick? The drive is powered on, but y'all see, I plug this up in the middle of this thing being on, which you really shouldn't do. All right, so I, I powered it off. I'm gonna make sure y'all see it say no signal. It's powered off. I'm gonna power it back on. Come on. There you go. Took me some time to get that in. I don't know why that slide in smoother. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna have to re-log in and all that. So you see it still say no signal. It's gonna pop up in a few minutes. Still waiting for it to pop up. There it go. Just popped up. All right, there it go. There go the amp crest. See? So now, log in. Y'all can't see my password again. So we're gonna give it a second. Give me a second so I can log in real quick. In. So look, watch this. HD manager. Oh, what's that say? What that say? SATA one, rewrite normal, two point seven two. So what do that tell you? The power supply on this one is not working for some reason. We know this one is working, so. Why do I have to power my drive that's supposed to be in this Amcrest up with another MBR? All right, talk to y'all later.